Hello everyone, welcome back. Hi. All right, so we started our day, um, our second day in Vegas with the Madame Tussaud Wax Museum. Um, here you can see us taking pictures with some really cool real life um, wax uh, celebrities. Here's Johnny Depp. And then um, I'll show you the picture uh, that we took here. But anyways, the, the museum was pretty cool. We were kind of in a rush, so we did, uh, went through it uh, pretty fast. Um, but it, it, it was cool because in every room, there's a different theme with different songs. Um, so I really recommend you guys to check this out. Yeah, so after this, we'll be going on to our gondola ride. So this is our gondola ride. Uh, this is the gondolier, the person that's rowing the boat. His name is Giovanni, right? Yep, and he's uh, he's pretty cool. He's very nice. There's actually two different uh, gondola rides, one on the outside and one on the inside of the Venetian. Yeah, um, I think a lot of people prefer the inside more but uh, because the outside was pretty hot. Um, and we, you know, of course they usually sing, but uh, they won't allow them to sing because of COVID. Um, I think that they probably need to take off their mask. But we are coming up on the stage um, and they will be singing. Um, someone will just be singing a song and we will be parked there to listen to them. Mm -hmm. That's the money! So after our ride, we stopped by Fat Tuesday to get us some drinks. And I will say that they're pretty strong and we purposely asked for the strongest drink. So after that, we head out to eat because we were super hungry at Triple A Korean Barbecue. So this is your typical all you can eat Korean barbecue. They have uh, Kobe beef here, so that's why we wanted to try it out. Here's the menu, uh, just going through all the, the type of meat that they have, the appetizer. Um, and it looks like, a, you know, it's a lot of meat. Okay, so we're inside. This is uh, just a few of the side dish that they have, you know, with every sort of typical Korean barbecue. They'll give you some side dish here. And she's waiting for her food. That's our grills going there. And these are the different types of marinade for the pork belly. Uh, of course, you can see we have the regular marinade, the red wine, garlic, green tea, sweet soy, curry, miso, and the guachujang, which is like a red chili paste. And of course, you know, this is uh, beef belly. And then these are some uh, Korean Kalbi short ribs. And these here are the Kobe. So there's, um, I believe, supposed to be a New York steak and just a regular steak. And over there is just some corn. All right, so these are the pork that was done. All right, so, uh, you know, remember there's eight different kind. And to be quite honest, they all taste pretty much the same, except for the guachujang and the miso which had a bit more flavor. And so those are the two, the two last one here. And you can tell they, the ones that look a bit different. I do like those two, but everything else kind of tastes pretty much the same. Here we have the Kobe Carpaccio. It's Kobe sliced very thin and kind of like a vinaigrette, sweet soy sauce. Um, marinade. No, it's sweet, it's tangy, and it's salty, so it's super tasty. 
All right. So next up, we're going to the high roller. You can see some people do some zip lining too, but uh, the high roller is that big um, a Ferris wheel looking kind of thing. So uh, keep uh, going with us. We have to go up at the escalator to the top. Um, so look at those. It's pretty big. Um, it actually, I think it would fit at least, you know, probably 10 people. Yeah, at least like 10 people. Um, we but were there. We did have another group with us of four people, but it was a lot of room. And here is the fountain of Bellagio from way up top. Yeah, as you can see, all the way over there behind Flamingo. Yeah, so unfortunately, we couldn't, you know, we didn't take any videos of inside of how it looks like, but it typically takes like 28 minutes to go a full round. So it's a pretty good amount of time. So here's just some views of the, uh, what it looks like on top. So after the high roller, we went to get some uh, dirt dogs. They are very famous, of course, for their hot dogs. So these are just some of the few things that we bought. And uh, we're going to do some taste tests for you all in a little bit. Okay, so here I'm eating the house dog. All of their hot dogs is wrapped in bacon. This one has, you know, just uh, your has your typical topping, but with their house special sauce and a green chili spread. I really enjoy this one. And then this next one is the elote dog, which is basically all the toppings of an elote corn. You know, if you know those. It just has like, you know, your corn, some lime mayo, chili, cilantro. And this one was good as well, but I do prefer the house dog over this one. All right, so I'm going to try the carne asada fries for you guys. So these fries is just like a regular carne asada. It tasted uh, pretty good. I mean, not not something to out the norm, but I do like the fries. That was pretty crunchy. All right, so here we go to the um, deep fry Oreo, and that you know that is my favorite out of all of that. Um, I didn't think that I would like it that much, but it's actually pretty good. Um, it comes with those uh, frosting sauce uh, or frosting. It's kind of like the uh, Cinnabon frosting. I dipped it into it. Pretty good amount. And yummy. So you, as you can see, there's the Oreo inside. The... Um, bread is pretty thick around it you can taste the bread first when it, you bite into it and then the sweetness of the Oreo after that so that was really good it's not oily or anything like that so I, I really like it and like I said that's my favorite so you guys have to try that all right so that concludes our day you know we did have a pretty uh, long day today and as always, you know, thank you for watching. Yes, thank you for watching. As always, please subscribe, like, and share our video. Thank you. All right. Peace out, everyone.